Okay, in this video we're going to talk about number two from the Calc AB exam in 2016, and it's kind of a uh, motion along a straight line type question. It's specifically motion along the x-axis question. Um, so let's see what we have. Um, so we're told that V of T is 1 plus 2 sine of T squared over 2. And we're also told that at t equals 4, the x value is 2. And anytime you're given a function on this exam, uh, on a calculator thing, what you should immediately do, store it on your calculator. So you want to do that because then you can look at it a couple times, make sure you did it definitely correctly, um, and then just keep using the stored function instead of typing it in every time, which would be very risky. Um, okay, so for this question, we're asked, um, at t equals 4, is a particle speeding up or slowing down? To know that, we would need to know the sign of velocity and acceleration. So let's use our calculator to find velocity and acceleration. So my calculator tells me that v of 4 is uh, 2.979, which is obviously greater than 0. And it tells me that a of 4, which is v prime of 4, so that's the work that I would show. You don't actually show very much work because it's a calculator problem. Um, is negative 1.164, which is definitely less than 0. And then I can make my conclusion. So... Um, since v of 4 and a of 4 have opposite signs, uh, we know that this thing is slowing down. And that's really all we need to say about it. So it's got to be slowing down. All right. Takes me a while to write that. Let's take a look at the next one. So the next one is about um, when does the particle change direction. So if the particle changes direction, uh, that means that v of t would have a sign change. And if we're talking about that, it seems like what we should probably do is graph V of T. Um, so to graph it, I use a calculator. Um, so you can see there's definitely a sign change. I made my window go from uh, 0 to 3 because that was when the question was asked. Um, and also what I do is I tend to add another function at 0. And then on the Inspire, I use menu 813, which finds intersection points. The advantage of that is it finds all the intersection points on the screen at the same time. Um, there's only one here, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm in the habit of doing it all the time. Um, so I can see that there's a sign change at 2.707. And so that would be the only time that the particle changes direction. So it changes direction. Usually on these problems, uh, I'm just going to talk while I write this. Um, you want to change the window before you graph the function, because sometimes the functions are kind of crazy outside of the exact window you're supposed to be looking at, and it can waste a lot of time with your calculator trying to graph it. So anyway, that's my answer. So 2.707 because V of T has a sign change there. Not a lot going on. All right, the next one, we need to find position of the particle at T equals zero. That's going to be fundamental theorem. And it's actually my favorite way of using the fundamental theorem where you kind of rearrange it. Um, it feels like having a superpower. So the integral from 0 to 4 of v of t dt should be x of 4 minus x of 0. Not should, be, it actually is. Um, but I'm looking for x of 0, so I'm going to rearrange this and solve for x of 0. So x of 0 is x of 4 minus the integral from 0 to 4 of v of t dt. And then I'm told in the problem that at t equals 4, the x-coordinate is 2. And now this is a calculator problem. So I'm going to do that. 2 minus the integral from 0 to 4 of v of t dt, I get negative 3.815. So x of 0 is approximately negative 3.815. Not bad. And let's find, in the next part, the total distance between 0 and 3. So total distance is the integral of the absolute value from a to b of v of t dt. Uh, sorry, absolute value of v of t from a to b. Um, don't confuse that with displacement, which would just be the integral from a to b of v of t dt, which we kind of used in the previous part. I mean, why would they ask us to do the same thing in consecutive parts, right? So for this problem, we're going to do um, the integral from 0 to 3 of the absolute value of v of t dt. Make sure you read the question. Like, you got t equals 4 floating around, you got t equals 3 floating around. You got to make sure you're doing the right thing. Um, so this is just from 0 to 3, and that's obviously a calculator problem. And my calculator says it is 5.301. So the distance that it travels is approximately 5.301. That's the whole question. Uh, not bad, very straightforward. Hope you found this helpful, and good luck.